Lesson 7 Basic Configuration Inventory In this chapter we will discuss inventory related features offered by Busy. In the previous chapter we have discussed basic configuration about accounting and general features. In this chapter we will discuss all the inventory related features. For this we will go to Administration, Configuration, Features Options, Inventory tab. Under inventory tab you can see a lot of inventory features are present. Some of the features are disabled because they are part of standard or enterprise edition. I would like to mention here is that Busy offers a very strong inventory management system. Almost all the inventory related features required by companies or firms are present in Busy. Some of the advanced features are part of our standard or enterprise edition. Now we'll discuss the inventory related features. First is quantity decimal places. Specify the number of decimal places required in quantity. Next is item wise discount decimal places. Then enable multi go down inventory. Enable this feature if you want to enable multi go down inventory. That is you want to maintain stock at more than one material center. Material center is any place where you keep your stock like it can be your go down, showrooms, various outlets. On enabling this feature an options for MC level window appears in which a material center at item level option is provided. If you enable this option then you can specify material center with each item at the time of voucher entry. On enabling this option, Busy is showing a message box that this option cannot be changed if any transaction exists with material center specified at item level. That is, once you have enabled this option and entered a transaction, then you cannot disable this option. Next is separate stock updation date in dual vouchers. With this feature, you can specify a separate stock updation date in vouchers. In the vouchers, when you enter a bill date or a voucher date, then on pressing enter key on, on that field, a stock updation date window will appear on enabling this feature. In that window, you can specify the date on which the stock has been updated. Bill date or stock updation date can be different, like if you have entered a bill on 2nd of April, but actual delivery of goods has been taken place on 3rd of April. So in that case, your bill date will be 2nd of April and stock updation date will be 3rd of April. Once you enable this feature then all inventory related reports works on stock updation date and not on bill date. Next is separate stock valuation method for items. If you want separate stock valuation method with each item then you can enable this option. Allow sale return in sales voucher and allow purchase return in purchase vouchers. Enable these options if you want to allow sale return and purchase return to be entered in sale purchase voucher itself. Basically on enabling this option you can specify the quantity returned by the customer in the sales voucher itself by putting a negative sign before it. Quantity entered with a minus sign or a negative sign will be treated as quantity returned. Okay, it's a very good or powerful feature. In the same voucher you can enter the quantity sold and the quantity returned. Next is validate sale return with original sales and validate purchase return with original purchase. If you enable these options then while entering sale return or purchase return vouchers a validate window will appear in which you can specify the original bill number. Basically Busy will cross check the amount entered by you, the quantity entered by you in the return vouchers with the original bill number and if there is some discrepancy Busy will show an error message. So you can validate your returns with the original sale or purchase bill you have entered. Enable bill sundry narration. Enable this option if you enter narration with the bill sundries in the voucher. Item wise discount type. Select simple discount if you want to enter simple discount in the vouchers or none if you do not want to enter item wise discount. Next is stock valuation method. Choose the stock valuation method best suited to you. There are a lot of stock valuation methods provided by Busy. Tax sale purchase account with. Specify the master that is sale purchase type, item group, item or material center to which you want to tag the sale purchase account with. Tag stock account with that is you want to tag stock account with material center master, item group master or tax category master. Next is skip item default price during voucher modification that is while modifying a voucher the price as entered at the time of adding voucher should remain the same and it should not be picked from the pricing mode. Next enable free quantity in vouchers that is you want to enter free quantity in the voucher. On enabling this feature you can enter a free quantity with a plus symbol that is quantity entered before plus symbol will be treated as build quantity and the quantity entered after the plus symbol will be treated as free quantity. On enabling this feature an options for free quantity window appear in which you can enable the option of calculate GST on free quantity in case of tax on MRP. In case of tax on MRP, if you want to calculate GST on free quantity also, then you can enable this option. Next, allocate additional expenses voucher wise. Allocate expense purchase to item. On enabling these options, certain windows will appear at the time of data entry. You can specify data in them like additional expenses or expense purchase to be allocated to the items. 
show items current balance during voucher entry that is at the time of data entry when you select an item its current stock will be displayed at the bottom of the voucher maintain drug license enable this option if you want to enter drug license number of your company on enabling this option two fields drug license number 1 and drug license number 2 will be activated you can specify the drug license number of your company in those fields then is update item prices from voucher enable this option if you want to update item prices from the vouchers on enabling this option a window appear in which there are two options update last sale price and update last purchase price you can enable either of the option or both the options to update sale purchase price from the vouchers to the item master basically the price you enter in the voucher will be updated in the item master automatically do not maintain stock balance under this option you can specify that you do not want to maintain stock balance in any of the items or you want to maintain stock balance for all the items then you will select the option as not applicable and in this option varies from item to item then you can select the at item level option that is you can specify with each item that whether you want to maintain the stock of this item or not you must be thinking here why not to maintain the stocks i like to tell here you is that this option is useful for services item in case of services items so generally you do not have the need to maintain the stock balance item wise markup type not required or simple markup and then is item pricing modes in voucher very important feature on clicking this button you can specify the pricing modes for sales voucher and purchase voucher pricing is a critical and very important part of any business with this feature you can specify the criteria from which the prices are to be picked automatically at the time of voucher entry first is show parties last prices in sales voucher and show parties last prices in purchase voucher that is the party you have selected at the time of voucher entry and the prices at which you have sold the item to that particular party only will be reflected in the voucher on enabling this option a window appears in which you can specify that you want to check transaction sections unit wise also next is last item price enable this option if you want to pick the last item price that is the price at which the item is last sold irrespective of the party that is it is not a party dependent feature it will not check for the party it will only check the price at which the item was last sold or purchased and that price will be displayed during voucher entry next is default pick from item master that is you want to pick sale purchase prices from the item master itself sale price purchase price you have specified in the item master will be displayed in the voucher above pricing mode applicable to price mrp discount markup or both and then is treat mrp as sale price enable this option if you want to treat mrp as the sale price so these are the various pricing modes available in busy you can select them as per your requirement click save button to save the inventory related features we have discussed all the inventory related features in this chapter at the end of the chapter exercises also provided you can view it on the screen and attempt it also Thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel